All right, this is a continuation from Deep in Babylon, from the message Deep in Babylon. We're going to discover, find out, are you deep or are you shallow? Five traits that separate shallow people from deep ones. After this article, most high zero me on this article. I read this article. I, I find it very informative. You should find this article very informative. And it gives us a measure where we can measure Babylonian teachers and also, most important, measure yourself. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to tell me. Don't put it in the comment section. You go before the Most High with this. And wherever you need to change in your life, this is what, this is what the Scripture does. We see areas where we need to make a change. And we make adjustments and we make changes as needed. So you're going to see here. Uh, five traits that separate shallow people from deep ones. When we talk about deep people or shallow people all the time, it says, what does it really mean to be deep? And how can we cultivate this depth? So you hear people saying this person is deep, that person is deep, this, this person is shallow, that person is shallow. One of the dictionary definitions of deep is profound. The definition of profound is entering deep, deeply, into subjects or of thoughts or knowledge or having deep insight or understanding shallow on the other hand means superficial see shallow superficial not not you're not deep lacking depth okay so being a deep person means having profound insight and understanding and this is what the babylonian teachers they portray this image that they have deep insight, profound insight and understanding when it comes to the scripture, while being a shallow person indicates a superficial understanding and lack of insight. When we come out, of course, we come out of Christianity. We really were shallow. We know we were shallow people. We didn't have deep insight when it came to the scripture. And we definitely were shallow people. Shallow people are in Christianity. But what does this mean for our lives and the way we relate to the world and other people? And how can we try to be deep rather than shallow people? See, there's something we can do in order to be deeper. You want to be deep? Here it comes. Of course, not everyone can have a deep knowledge and understanding about everything. This is a very key point here. You're not going to have a deep knowledge and a deep understanding about everything. We're looking for a deep knowledge and a deep understanding in the things of the Most High. No one would say a person was shallow just because they didn't understand quantum mechanics. So just because you, this is a deep person, knowledge in the Most High, he's deep in understanding, he's a caring person, he's very deep. But he doesn't understand something that's very simple to someone else. And so that doesn't mean you're not a deep person. So what do we really mean when we describe people as shallow and deep? Here are five ways deep people behave differently from shallow people. Once again, here is your measuring stick. Number one, deep people see beyond appearances. Can you see people beyond appearances? Because deep people see beyond appearance. And when you see these Babylonian teachers, they look fine. They look great. When you see a man dressed in a suit and tie and he come before you talking, can you look beyond the appearances? See, shallow people, they're looking at the appearances. Do you see a man that's dirty, look like he has no money? Do you look at his appearance and say, I'm not going to speak with him because he's dirty? See, that makes you a shallow person. Often we use the example of shallow people making judgment based on appearances. So if you're making judgment based on appearances, how someone look, you are shallow. So someone who wouldn't be friends with a person who wasn't rich or good looking would be described as shallow. So these rich Babylonian teachers, if someone else is not rich, if they're poor, they don't want to be friends with them. They don't want to be associated with them. And they would be considered shallow because they're judging and they're going based on appearances. We usually think of deep people as being 
more interested in other people because of their values rather than their appearances. Look for people's values and not appearances. This is what people that are deep do. Deep do. Deep thinkers can look beyond surface appearance and appreciate others for less tangible qualities such as kindness, compassion, and wisdom. So we don't look at how they look, how they dress. This is how the deep people operate. Number two, deep people don't believe everything they read or hear. So if you're deep, just because the, just because the Babylonian teacher said it, you heard it, that doesn't mean you believe it. See, shallow people, they believe everything their Babylonian teachers teach. Do you understand? Even coming to Yahuwah is one channel. I tell everyone this. Don't believe me. Believe the words that come out of the scripture. I'm a man. I make mistakes. So don't believe me. Make sure what I say is correct. And I've had, I've had, um, subscribers. When I first started, the ch especially when I first started the channel, I had subscribers come to me and correct me. I didn't turn my, I didn't close my eyes to what they were saying. I looked into it. And if they was right, I stand corrected. And to this day, I keep the same attitude. So don't believe everything you hear, even on this channel. Go back and search. I teach you. Go back and search and research for yourself. Don't believe me. Another example of what we regard as shallow behavior is those who believe everything they read or hear. See, shallow people, they will sit under that preacher and believe everything they say. You know, this person left our camp. They left the body. They believe they left the body. They're no longer in Christ. The people believe this. Now they are wicked. They're not your brother and sister. You see? Shallow. This is shallow people. Deep people don't necessarily believe what they hear, especially if it goes against their values. See? Come out of her, my people. We know and understand that most that's the most high command. He told us to flee to another land. He told us to be pilgrims. Second Ezra, he teaches us we should become pilgrims on the earth. The pilgrims travel from a wicked, polluted land to another Kadash place movement. And then I hear Babylonian teachers saying, and they're trying to help me. I had some come to the channel that in their heart, they're just deceived, but in their heart, they think they're helping me. And they say, you know, we, he meant for us to come out of her system. You see why I'm always saying this? This is why I'm always saying this. So that people can understand exactly what they're saying going against scripture. He meant for us to come out of his, come out of the, the system. He meant for us to come out spiritually. I don't listen to that. Because the Most High didn't say that. And then I tell the people, show me one scripture. All the people that believe we should come out of her spiritually. Or come out of her system. Or Babylon is everywhere. We can't flee. Babylon is everywhere. Show me one scripture to support that. I promise you. I will bring it out on the channel and I will proclaim it. And then you hear crickets. You hear crickets. I'm making bold statements. If what these Babylonian teachers are true, they should be able to pull out a scripture. They can't pull out a scripture. And the shallow people, they believe what these people said because this sounds good. We don't have to do anything. The Most High is going to gather us. Sit still. Do nothing. So the shallow people listen and believe and do it. Deep people. They're going to want to hear the, every word that came from the mouth of the Father. This is what makes you deep. Are you deep or are you shallow? Measure yourself. You're in the process of measuring yourself right now. You're hearing something you probably never heard before. Watch this. This is why deep people find gossip and misinformation upsetting. You see why I get upset? Misinformation? He mean to come out of her spiritually. Misinformation. The land of Yasharal is in South Africa. Misinformation. Who is this coming from? 
someone that's gay? Misinformation. A government agent saying this? With the occult number 777? Misinformation. Someone that's arrogant and self-centered? I'm thinking, I'm praying about proving this arrogance and self-centered. It's right before your eyes on YouTube and the people don't see it. I saw it. I checked on it. Self-centered. Misinformation. The righteous get upset. The deep, But the shallow people, they will find misinformation as truth. Yeah, the land of Yasharal is in South Africa. Come on, follow us. You, you, they might, I was told, you, you and your family are nice people. Y'all need to come and follow us to South Africa. Misinformation. Forget about the wilderness. Misinformation. We get upset. The righteous get upset concerning misinformation. But the shallow people, they don't get upset with misinformation. They know how damaging these shallow views can be these are shallow views and they are damaging to our people and if you have any kind of love for our people you don't truly want to see our people go astray you want to see our people make it into the wilderness make it past the wilderness you want to see our people make it into the land that way we can all come together and rejoice a pure righteous joy celebrating the fact no one done this but the most high he opened our eyes. He gave us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The book was no longer a book that we read, a book that was sealed to us. But he opened our mind. He sent his Malaks to help us. We had relations with the Malaks. The Malaks are talking with us, interacting with us like they did with the people in Scripture. This is happening within the borders. The ones in Babylon, they don't know what's going on inside the borders. Deep people look behind the news stories and gossip. You see, deep people look behind the news stories, all your mainstream media. Some people, they just regurgitate mainstream media news story. They call themselves can see, talking about the, the, all the same things the scientists are saying, saying the same things that the mainstream media are saying. Shallow people. And they have hundreds of thousands and millions of followers. Here it is. Most people on the earth today are shallow. The majority of the people, they question why this information is being shared in this way and what purpose does it serve? We quit. Deep people will question everything. Number three, deep people listen more than they speak. Did we not read this in scripture? Did we just not read this in scripture? Swift to hear and slow to speak. We just went over this. And this article, once again, it jumped out at me. And most high pressed on me. Use this. And this is what I'm doing. The old English phrase, a shallow brook babbles the loudest, is a good metaphor. It's a great metaphor for the difference between shallow people and deep people. There's a huge difference. If we spend all our time making noise, we can't hear other people's ideas and opinions. All right. When someone is trying to give the truth according to the scripture, to the best of their knowledge, to the best of their ability, and then the other people start talking about things that have nothing to do with the message. Surely people will come in the comment section and drop things in the comment section that have nothing to do with this video. I told you I have to start ignoring some of these people. You're worrying about this. You're worrying about that. You're worried about the wrong things. And I don't have time to spend to waste when people are making their way out. And I'm concentrating now on those that's making their way out and those that's out. Because what they're doing is more important than what you're doing. You missed the message. You just came here to learn Aubrey. If you came here to learn Aubrey, I have yet done a lesson on Aubrey. The Most High have not, and I've had people, are you going to do a lesson on Aubrey? The Most High have not told me to do a lesson on Aubrey. He didn't speak one thing concerning me doing a lesson on Aubrey. Study Aubrey like I did. Know and understand the Yiddish from the ancient. 